It's a friend of yours. A big white bird with a bundle in its beak. It's for stork. It's for bloody stork. Right, well, I'm going to settle this once and for all. Richie, Richie, they're a protected species. Give me that. Thanks, <laughs> uh, uh, Robert. And a strawberry gold top, Mr. Rich. the most milkman-shaped stork I've seen in my life. <laughs> I would go further and posit that it's not a stork at all, but a milkman. Yes, it is. I was joking. <laughs> Edward, a man is dead! Well, I didn't think it'd be stupid enough to believe me. As everyone knows, the baby stork doesn't exist! Oh, please! Can you stop ruining childhoods? Innocence is lost all too quickly in this modern world. Now you can talk. Your agent runs a brothel. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, please. Stage school. Stage school. They're wonderful kids and I think the world of them, but never mind all that. Never mind all that. Richie, you have just killed a milkman. <laughs> Two milkman, filthy. <laughs> oh, my God, how depressing. This could be very bad publicity for us. Very bad indeed. <laughs> what? You think the papers will side with Milky? <laughs> Bound to. I remember when I had Mike Reed on my books. Him and Chedwin got drunk one night and set fire to a nun. <laughs> Next series of Saturday Superstore was slated. Yeah, filthy, a nun, all right. There's only a couple of milkmen. I mean, clanky, clanky, whistly, whistly, morning, madam, aren't I sexy and other fruit? Young of your daughter. Knock all right, they sent you a bill. They deserve to die. Uh, one milkman, maybe you could laugh it off. Friendly joke. <laughs> Went too far. Thoughts on both sides, but two. It looks very Freddy Star, doesn't it? <laughs> this is just the sort of thing those vipers in the press pick up on. The critics will slaughter my next shell. Yeah, I can just see it now. Daily Telegraph. Bloody great news! Richie Rich goes to prison forever and ever! Hooray! <laughs> I'm not going to prison! I'm not going to prison! I claim diminished responsibility. Premenstrual tension. It's filthy. Get me a sex change. Well, please stop shouting, Richie. Nobody knows about it yet. And when the going gets tough, the tough have a fag and a drink and a ponder. <laughs> Hello, get me body loser Gary, please. <laughs> yes, I can hold. I said have a fag and a drink and a ponder. Yes, a fag and a drink and a ponder. <clears throat> Hello, filthy Ralph here. Yeah, body loser Gary. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, I want you to lose a body. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, he doesn't feel like losing a body today. We'll have to do it ourselves. The question is how. Yes, the question is how. I've got an idea. Yeah, well, we can ignore that, can't we? I was going to say, it was less of a farting competition. <laughs> well, Ralph, what do you think? If I farted, you'd soon know about it. <laughs> now, listen, we're going to have to cover for them on their round. Richie, get this bloke's clothes off. You're going to have to do his job so the dairy don't work out he's dead. Hang on a minute. That's a bit of a drastic solution, isn't it? I mean, all right, I've killed a couple of guys, but what you're suggesting is manual labour. Oh, listen to the tragedy, Queen. Do you want to do hard labour for life? Well, obviously not, but how long am I expected to keep it up for? Living a double life as a milkman. Am I expected to train his whippets? <laughs> Learn to clog dance? <laughs> Sleep with his wife? I'm bound to be discovered. There she is, in her curlers, lying there thinking, oh, God. I'm so bored of having to sex that working-class oik I married. <laughs> and all of a sudden, whoops-a-daisy, Richie Rich flashes a star-spangled smile and something not dissimilar to a nuclear submarine floats in between the sheets. <laughs> yeah. And then, when she's flopped your beer belly back onto the floor, <laughs> she can get out her binoculars and start searching for your action. <laughs> Why can't Eddie the Git do it? You seem to be forgetting, Richie. We have two little problemettes here, and we need Eddie for the other one. That paternity stuff. And you can't take that blood test in case it's positive. And, uh, what's that got to do with me, Ralph? Hello, get me two girls round at Richie's place fast. Great! A party! Fantastic! <laughs> Let's forget all our problems and party! <laughs> Make-up girls. Oh. 
We're going to make Addy look like Richie so that he can take the blood test instead and that way we'll be sure the blood won't match the babies. Richie put on Milky's trousers, Eddie put on Richie's trousers. And who's going to wear my trousers? I should imagine someone criminally insane. <laughs> Who enjoys whipping to high heaven and scaring old ladies? Ha ah! <laughs> ha! <laughs> like all great actors, I must think myself into the role. Um... <laughs> uh, oh, I'll give him a limp. No, that definitely says milkman to me. And a hunchback, of course. Yes, all those milk crates must take their toll. Right, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> Superb. Richie Rich moved as if he was born a milkman. Dribbled Bernard Levin in der Sturmer. Right. What sort of action should he have? Hmm? Cockney, of course. Luckily, I'm a master of dialect. Here goes. Ibagum, <laughs> egisum. And there you have it. The milkman. A creation to rank with uh, Olivier's Othello, Gilgood's Hamlet, and Forsyth's brilliantly observed supermarket manager. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Fate deals me blow after blow, and now my two milkman bodies to get rid of. No, I must remain calm, resourceful, subtle. I'll stick him in the rubbish. Oi, 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 what is going on here? You've just dumped a dead body in that rubbish, haven't you? No, I haven't. Stop hallucinating, you drug addict! That is a dead body and I'm not going to take it away. Well, perhaps you wouldn't mind just scattering it around the street then. I mean, after all, that's what you normally do, isn't it? Oh, you're yeah, very clever, I must say. Do you have any idea how difficult <coughs> efficient waste disposal is? <sighs> Bloody! That is how difficult. What we privatisation? Oh, for pity's sake! People seem to use these plots as a forum for whatever personal hobby horse they feel like waffling on about. And shut up and trash this bod or I'll tell on you to that. No way, I am not taking it and that is final. It is not in a bin liner. <laughs> One day rubbish collection is going to be carried out entirely by microchip and you're starved to death and I'm glad. <sighs> Richie Rich. Wonderful characterisation, love. Very, very fetching indeed. Now, have you put Milko Dairies off the scent? Er, uh, not quite. <laughs> no pub, no pigs, no horse. I don't know what kind of tarby brained half wit would want an order of a failed old fat bottomed excellent drag queen with zero talent like me. In fact, I think I'm a complete drat. <laughs> I won't even ask how you came by these two, Richie. Oh, we certainly shan't forget today in a hurry. What, you think you won't? First day in your life you look halfway presentable, dick face. Richie, however many milkmen you kill, it's still not going to become fashionable, you know. <laughs> so I think, look, all you've got to do is get rid of four dead milkmen. It'll be no problem. No problem. May I casually remind you, Richie, that I am stood here dressed like a completely poncy git. <laughs> now, can we please get to the hospital and trash this maternity suit before I get mistaken for a poodle? I'm trying not to kill any more milkmen on the way. Right, right. Don't kill any milkmen. He shall pay for what he's done to my daughter. The Gigolo, the Casanova, the Don Juan, the Lothario, the randy little bastard. <laughs> oh, Mum, believe me, Mrs. Whitehouse, if the blood from the baby and the blood from Mr. Rich prove compatible, your daughter will be entitled to an enormous settlement.